Hello students, welcome to Narayana Online Classes. Today we are discussing 10th Standard Mathematics Assignment Number 30 in the topic Trigonometry. Now the first question. Sin 45 degrees plus cos 45 degrees is equals to. So we know that what he is asking. Sin 45 degrees plus cos 45 degrees. So what is the value? So sin 45 degrees value is 1 by root 2 plus cos 45 degrees value is 1 by root 2. See here your bases are equal. So we can directly add numerators. So 1 plus 1 by root 2 which is equals to 1 plus 1 is 2 by root 2. Let it be. I am rationalizing the denominator. So root 2 root 2 by root 2 which is equal to 2 into root 2 2 root 2 by root 2 into root 2 is 2 2 to get cancer value is root 2 so sine 45 degrees plus cos 45 degrees value is root 2 option B coming to the next problem tan square 45 degrees plus cos square 30 degrees minus sin square 60 degrees the value is so see children here he is given that 2 tan square 45 degrees plus cos square 30 degrees minus sin square 60 degrees so 2 into tan 45 degrees value is 1 1 square plus cos 30 degrees cos square 30 degrees means cos 30 degrees value is root 3 by 2 so cos square 30 degrees value is root 3 by 2 whole square minus sin square 60 degrees sin square 60 degrees value is root 3 by 2 sin 60 degrees value is root 3 by 2 so here so 2 into 1 is 2 plus root 3 whole square value is 3 2 square value is 4 minus here also square root get cancelled 3 and 2 square value is 4 here plus 3 by 4 minus 3 by 4 get cancelled then value is 2 so 2 times square 45 degrees plus cos square 30 degrees minus sin square 60 degrees value is 2 now coming to the next problem If cos a is equals to 12 by 30, then find sin a and tan a. He is given cos a. Cos a value is 12 by 13. Cos a is equals to 12 by 13. Then cos a in this sense, what is cos a? Adjacent side by in a right angle triangle, cos a with respect to angle a is adjacent side by hypotenuse. So adjacent side by adjacent side by hypotenuse adjacent side by hypotenuse. We don't know the exact length of for triangle. Then I'm multiplying with a constant k that is 12k by 13k. Now the adjacent side length is 12k and hypotenuse is 13k. First draw. Right angle triangle A B C at angle B is 90 degrees. So here A B is 12k and B C B C uh, and here hypotenuse is given that is A C 13k. We need to calculate B C value. It means opposite side we need to calculate. So by using Pythagoras rule by using pythagoras rule that is ac square is equals to ab square plus bc square so ac square is 13 square is equals to ab square is 12 square plus bc square 13 square 13 square value is 169 which is equals to 12 square value is 149 plus b square now send uh, 169 is equal 
149.2 left hand side that is 169 minus 149 is equals to BC square. So 169 minus 149 is see uh, 1212 is 144. So 169 minus 144 is 25 is equals to BC square. Therefore BC is equals to root over 25. So which is equals to 5. So the BC value is 5. BC value is 5. Right? So let it be. Uh, see children. We need to calculate sin A and tan A. So sin A value is sin A value is opposite by hypotenuse. That is 5. Opposite is BC by AC which is equals to 13k by opposite is BC 5k by AC is 13k so k k get cancer then 5 by 13 now we need to calculate tan A tan A is opposite by hypotenuse that is BC by AB BC by AB so BC value is 5k by AB value is 12k kk get cancelled then 5 by 12 now coming to the next problem see children if cot a is equal to 7 by 8 then evaluate 1 plus sin a into 1 minus sin a by 1 plus cos a into 1 minus cos a. He is given cot a only. Cot a is equals to 7 by 8. So what is cot a? Adjacent side by opposite side. So adjacent side by opposite side. Adjacent side by opposite side we don't know the exact length of uh, adjacent side and opposite side right that's why any we are multiplying with a constant both the numerator and denominator that is a 7 k by 8 k now the adjacent side of a triangle is 7 k and opposite side of a triangle is 8 k so we need to take a, a one triangle a b c so adjacent side is 7k and opposite side is 8k we need to calculate hypotenuse by using Pythagoras rule I calculate the hypotenuse that is AC square is equals to AB square plus BC square so AC square is equals to AB square is 7k whole square plus BC square is 8k whole square so 7 square 7k whole square value is 7 square 49 k square and 8 square 64 k square so which is equals to root over 113 k square so therefore ac is root over 113 k square therefore ac is equals to root over 113 k square square root get cancelled then root over 113 into k so AC value is it means hypotenuse is root over 113 into K. Now we need to calculate sin A and cos A. So sin A. Sin A is opposite by hypotenuse. So opposite side is BC by AC. So BC value is BC value is 8K by root over 113 into K. KK get cancelled. 8 by root over 113 now cos a cos a is adjacent by hypotenuse that is ba by ac ab value is 7k by root over 113k both are get cancelled then 7 by root over 113 now we need to calculate 1 plus sin a into 1 minus sin a by 1 plus cos a into 
वन माइनस कॉस ये सी चिल्ड्रन वन प्लस साइन ए इंटू वन माइनस साइन ए इट मीन्स ए प्लस बी इंटू ए माइनस बी ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर दैट इज वन स्क्वायर माइनस साइन स्क्वायर ए बाय हियर आल्सो वन प्लस कॉस ए इंटू वन माइनस कॉस ए इट मीन्स ए प्लस बी इंटू ए माइनस बी सो ए स्क्वायर माइनस कॉस स्क्वायर ए सब चुट द फॉर्मूलास सो वन स्क्वायर वैल्यू इज वन माइनस साइन स्क्वायर साइन वैल्यू साइन वैल्यू इज एट बाय रूट ओवर वन वन थ्री होल स्क्वायर बाय वन माइनस कॉस स्क्वायर वैल्यू इज सेवन बाय रूट ओवर वन वन थ्री होल स्क्वायर सो वन माइनस एट स्क्वायर वैल्यू इज सिक्सटी फोर बाय वन वन थ्री बाय वन माइनस सेवन स्क्वायर वैल्यू इज फोर्टी नाइन बाय वन वन थ्री सो रूट ओवर वन वन थ्री इंटू वन 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 थ्री माइनस फोर्टी नाइन इज माइनस सिक्सटी फोर इज फोर्टी नाइन बाय वन वन थ्री एंड वन वन थ्री इंटू वन इज वन वन थ्री वन वन थ्री माइनस फोर्टी नाइन इज सिक्सटी फोर बाय वन वन थ्री बहुत है वन वन थ्री कैंसिल द रिमाइनिंग इज फोर्टी नाइन बाय सिक्सटी फोर सो द वैल्यू ऑफ इज फोर्टी नाइन बाय सिक्सटी फोर नाउ कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम In a right angle triangle ABC, right angle at B. So he is giving a one right angle triangle. Let it be. This is the right angle triangle. A, B, C. Right angle at B. If tan A is equal to root three, tan A is given. Let it be. Tan A is equal to root three. Then find the values of sin a cos c plus cos a sin c, and second value is cos a cos c minus sin a sin c. So what is cot theta? So tan a is equal to root three. I'm taking as root three by one. I'm taking as root three by one. So tan a is opposite side by opposite side by what adjacent side. So opposite side by adjacent side so we don't know the exact length so i am taking i am multiplying with a constant both the numerator and denominator that is root 3 into k by 1k so opposite is root 3 into k and adjacent is 1k now we need to calculate hypotenuse so by using pythagoras rule ac square is equals to ab square plus bc square so ac square is equals to 1k whole square plus bc square is root 3k whole square so ac is equals to root over so k square plus c square root get cancel 3k square which is equals root over 4k square it means square root get cancel so ac is equals to 2k now the hypotenuse is hypotenuse is 2k now we need to calculate see children sin a sin sin a the ratio of sin with respect to angle a the ratio of sin with respect to angle a so opposite by hypotenuse that is bc is bc by bc by ac so which is equals to root 3 by 2 now cos a cos a cos a means the ratio of cos theta with respect to angle a is adjacent by hypotenuse that is ab by ac ab by ac ab value is 1 by ac value is 2 now coming to the with respect to angle c with respect to angle c sin c sin c so sin c is 
opposite by hypotenuse with respect to angle c opposite side is ab and hypotenuse is ac so ab by ac which is equals to 1 by 2 now cos c now cos c so with respect to angle c cos theta is adjacent by hypotenuse so here adjacent side is bc and hypotenuse is ac so bc by ac root 3 by 2 first we need to calculate first sin a sin a cos c plus cos a sin c so sin a value is sin a value is root 3 by 2 into cos c value cos c value is root 3 by 2 plus here cos a value is 1 by 2 into sin c value is 1 by 2 see here root 3 into root 3 is 3 2 2 are 4 plus 1 1 are 1 and 2 2 are 4 here 4 so here the denominators are equal then we can add directly by the numerators so 3 plus 1 by 4 4 by 4 the value is 1 so here sin a cos c plus cos a sin c value is 1 when if tan theta is equals to root 3 if tan theta is equals to root 3 tan a is equals to root 3 then sin a cos c plus cos c sin c value is 1 now the second problem Now the second one, cos A, cos B minus sin A, sorry cos A cos C minus sin A sin C. So cos A value, cos A value is 1 by 2 into cos C, cos C value is root 3 by 2 minus sin A value is root 3 by 2 into sin c value is 1 by 2 let it be 1 into root 3 is root 3 by 2 to the 4 minus root 3 by 2 to the 4 so here plus root 3 by 4 and minus root 3 by 4 get cancelled then the value is 0 if tan root 3 is equal tan a is equal to root 3 then cos a cos c minus sin a sin c value is 0 let it be this value is 0 Thank you students.